Hey Flower Letter friends and welcome to another love note from Hanny. I hope that you are having a wonderful day and that your um, fall is still going well. I had a, a couple of thoughts that I wanted to share with you today because I think that um, this whole uh, holiday season that's almost upon us, sorry I'm trying to get my camera straight here, is um, one of those times when as women it's easy for us to kind of forget to take care of ourselves. How's that? <laughs> because we're constantly looking around and taking care of all those around us which is a wonderful quality and and such a wonderful thing about um, being a woman is is being able to have that uh, ability to look around and see needs and fill needs and I'm so thankful to be a woman especially in that regard not that men can't I'm, my husband is an extremely caring and nurturing man and I'm very grateful for him as well uh, but I, I know that um, as women and where we have families and we have uh, our hearts kind of I think turn more to um, others especially during this time of year I just wanted to remind each of us that um, you can't draw water from an empty well um, that's something that we talk about a lot in uh, creative creativity with the both art and writing that that it's really hard to draw creativity from an empty well and I think that's the same with when we're caring for other people if we forget to care for ourselves and I mean this in the you know caring for ourselves not like overindulging or anything like that I mean like really like caring for yourself caring for your health and your and your emotional health and your well-being um, those things that are essential um, I think that uh, when we forget to do that then we become n not nearly as effective as we are when we do take the, the time each day to care for ourselves and to make sure that we are uh, doing what's necessary to care for ourselves enough so that we can give our best selves to the world and I just wanted to share that with you there's there's this uh, when I was in college I had a boss um, I, I worked at a bridal shop and one of the things about working in this bridal shop is you wanted to look your best because you are uh, re representing this really important time um, you know these beautiful brides are coming to get their wedding dress this this uh, wonderful occasion and so you wanted to look your best to kind of represent this this uh, specialness of the occasion and one thing she said to me that has stuck with me is to this day and I've actually come to appreciate it more and more the older that I've gotten is how her mom used to teach her that in the morning you get ready the very best you can and you you do everything you need to to get ready as well as you can and then the rest of the day you forget yourself you forget uh, you forget about yourself and 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 that getting ready um, and what I found over the years is that if I set aside that time each day to take care of myself spiritually take care of myself emotionally take care of myself physically uh, then I am able to give so much more to all those around me. I feel more confident in who I am and what who I'm presenting to the world. I feel like uh, my mind is not on myself nearly as much and I, I feel like I just have so much more to offer the people around me. And that's, so that's just one thing that I wanted to share with you. Probably most of you already have that one down, but if there's somebody out there who just feels like they're kind of drowning in life and, and they're, they're feeling like uh, they don't know what step to take take next that they they just aren't getting enough of what they need and they're not able to give uh, what they feel like the people around them need um, I just wanted to share that that I think that you know as women a lot of times we feel kind of maybe we like to push that idea of taking care of ourselves away but in the long run it is the best gift we can give to the people around us when we take the time to take care of ourselves then we can give our best self to the people around us and so as the holidays start coming and you start feeling overwhelmed I know I feel really overwhelmed in the holidays um, take that little time that little extra time to care for yourself and to make sure that your well is replenished so that you can be the best self that you can be this holiday and in, in return enjoy the holidays more than you probably ever have if you haven't already been doing this already so anyway that's the the thought that I wanted to share with you today that's the little bit of love I wanted to give to you today is take care of yourself and 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 then see how much more you have to give the people around you and i hope you have a wonderful day and we will talk to you next time take care